Now let us derive an expression for the vector form of Ohm's law. For that, let us consider a cylindrical conductor, a conductor like this. Let L be the length of the conductor. And suppose the ends of the cylindrical conductor is connected to a cell which is providing a potential difference of V. Clearly, this side of the cell is the positive terminal and this one is the negative terminal. So here on the left side it is positive and here it is negative. So there is an electric field in the direction from positive side to the negative side that is from left to right. Let the cross section area of the conductor be A and a current, current will flow in, along the electric field. Let us say I be the current. Then we have we have the relationship between the electric field potential difference and length. We know that electric field will be potential difference divided by length implies potential difference will be E into L. Let us call that as equation number 1. And we have from, from Ohm's law, I mean the scalar form of Ohm's law, we have potential difference is equal to current times the resistance. And you can substitute the value of El for V that is El is equal to I into R. Now you have the current density, the term current density J, let us say current density. Current density is the current flowing per unit area I by A implies the current I will be J times the cross sectional area. Also, the resistance of this cylindrical conductor will be the resistivity times L by A, where rho is the resistivity, L is the length of the conductor and A is the cross section area. Let us substitute these two factors, these two functions in here, so that E L is equal to, instead of I, you can write J A, where J is the current density, then rho L divided by A. You can cancel this L and L, also this A and A, so that electric field E is equal to rho times or J into rho. That is equal to, you can write this as J into rho is equal to electric field or J is equal to 1 by rho times electric field. But you know rho is the resistivity. Resistivity. And the reciprocal of the resistivity will be called is called sigma the conductivity. Conductivity. So this will be J equal to sigma E. Or in vector, this J is current density is actually a vector quantity. Also, the electric field is also a vector. And the current density is along the direction of current. Also, the electric field is along the direction of current. So, this is the vector form of Ohm's law called vector form of Ohm's law. Ohm's law. This one is the scalar form of Ohm's law. Clear.